So hi there, I just wanted to take you through a little tutorial simply about using very very old film negatives. Now I don't know if you're much like me but if you've been shooting for a long long time in photography um, you may have kind of started off shooting in film photography before you've come across to digital and if that's the case you may have hundreds if not thousands of negatives sat around the house that you may have never had processed into prints or you may have and you may have lost those prints or damaged them. Um, but ultimately, I just wanted to show you a little tutorial whilst we're all working remotely as to how you could actually convert and save some of these negatives into usable photographs. Now, normally a lot of the time you'll send off your negatives uh, if not been processed already um, to have them converted into prints, but you can actually do it at home and it doesn't really take that much of a setup. All you need really are two devices. So I'm just going to simply use my phone. And I'm also going to use my tablet here. You can use two tablets, you can use two phones, um, basically just needs to be two screens and I'll show you the setup, I'll get my other camera and I'll go a little bit closer in and I'll show you how you can arrange this setup to make your digital negatives, well your negatives sorry, into digital photographs. My camera and I'll show you what I've set up here. So down on the floor all you're going to need really is to have two devices. So in the moment I've got my tablet here and I've got my phone at the side. Basically you need to set up one of those devices which doesn't really need to be any larger than the actual negative itself so you don't actually have to have a tablet, you could just have another phone. But you need to set your phone, your screen up either way to be white, as bright as possible so just turn the brightness up and just set the screen to being white. Then what we need to do is get our negative here, so just choose one at random. Um, it's probably only going to work best if you do one at a time in these. So once you've got that set there, just set that onto the uh, onto the, the screen itself and then you're going to need to download an app. Now there's quite a few apps that I've found um, that can kind of do this. Um, again, I'm working on an, on an Android device so it just depends whether you're Android or Apple as to which ones you kind of find. But there's, number, there's a number of them out there and a lot of them seem to be kind of A-OK -okay, so I don't think you'll kind of uh, find that there's one particular one that's best out of everything. But let me just show you a bit closely. I found one here called Photo Negative Scanner. So download that, it's it's absolutely free and it's been really really easy to use so far. So simply all we've got when we load up on the screen is an option to calibrate and align the image. So you basically just need to kind of position yourself so that the negative's right in the middle of this square on screen. So let me show you that a bit closely. So as I'm working here, all it needs to do is to position the phone right over the negative itself. You can try and avoid any bits of blur, any kind of light reflections if possible. So you can see I've got a little bit of a flare down just in that bottom corner there, but let's just say for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll kind of get it quite close, try and crop in, and it's just a case of pressing this button down here to say that we've calibrated and then instantly it converts the negative into a positive. So what we'll do, once we've got that conversion, we're going to take the picture and then it's going to save it to our camera. So straight away we've got a kind of a, a digitized version on our, of our negative. It's going to ask us to crop or set the crop for the image. So you can you can include the, the negative lines if you wanted to, the actual trim a bit if you like that kind of effect, if not just tighten the crop a little bit further and then just accept the crop that you've got there. And straight away, it may not be the world's greatest quality, again because you're just doing it from home in a, in a quick fashion, but it's a nice way of being able to look back at those old pictures that you've maybe not seen before. So there you go, so it's a quick way of turning your 35mm or any type of film negatives into a digital negative.